Hello, I'm Ricky Nitzkin. I'm the general coordinator of the Spanish Straw Building Network, as well as a member of the board of directors of ESBA. And I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about what's going on uh, with straw bale building in Spain in the last couple of years. Please forgive any background noises. I'm actually recording this um, at a at a building site, I'm I'm working at in in Asturias, and there's lots of animals around here and and some distracting noises. But I thought it would be nice to record this presentation in a real building site, which is a, an 80 square meter um, building built uh, that's being built with load bearing, the load bearing technique uh, here in a uh, Asturias in Spain. I'd love to show you some of the building, but we've just only done the first row of bales today so there's not much to show yet and by by the time you see this recording on on Saturday we're hoping to have finished or almost finished the walls so to get on with this I'd like to talk first a little bit about the network itself I'd like to mention that then we have approximately a hundred members of these hundred members about a third of them are professionals working in the building natural building industry and um, as services for our members we offer a newsletter which we publish usually four to six times a year and we also offer free monthly video conferences about eight times uh, sometimes more a year also about topics related directly to straw bale building or uh, natural building in general this year we've decided to make uh, ourselves a little bit more of a professional look and we've we've uh, we've uh, are now using a new logo which you see on on screen a more a cleaner look and we should be having a new web page coming live in some time probably in late September or October 2021 another new exciting adventure for the the Spanish network is that for the first time this year we're offering the full eight unit step course uh, for those of you that aren't aware what step is this is straw training for European professionals and as a program designed to train for people who want to be professional straw bale builders. Uh, this year is the first year we've offered the program and we have nine students signed up for the full program with a, another eight students signed up for individual units but not for the entire program and uh, this year we've been a bit ambitious offering all of the module all of the units except for a unit four and eight two times uh, this year. Um, we're giving the units one through seven partially online and partially in practical workshops. We, we do the theoretical part online, but we think it's uh, really important to get your hands dirty. And so we also show, um, uh, teach about half or more of the content for the units in practical uh, building workshops given by uh, our different trainers. There we have about I think it's six or seven different uh, training centers participating in, in the program and as well as these these practical workshops and and online content we also uh, require 15 or day or more days of practice on real building sites as well as a final written and oral exam in order to re uh, receive the the certification as a professional straw bale builder and we're hoping to certify our, our first students at the early next year uh, which uh, we're waiting until we finish our fall complement of, of workshops in order to organize the first uh, final exam we offered the introductory unit, uh, unit one, uh, together with unit six and seven, which are building physics as concept for the house in March 2021 in Lerida. In this case, we decided to to teach together unit six and seven as they're very directly related. And uh, most of the work for these units, I would say, 
for unit one about half of the work and for unit six and seven probably about 80 percent is done online but we thought it was important to 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 reach out to the students and teach them uh, how to evaluate a good building bail and and learn a little bit more about design and and building physics uh, with some practical examples and so we did that part of the of the unit live in May in in Malaga, in the south of Spain, we did the the first edition of the infill unit, and we also uh, did uh, the the finishes unit, uh, being taught the first unit by. Um, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention that these three units uh, were being taught by our now Bujons in the uh, presentially and uh, collaborating on the online part of Unit One. Um, I've I've worked with our now on that. I'll be doing a, a Unit One in September, and the modules six and seven were done the online content between three different training centers: Caseta de Paya, which is our now Bujons, Ruben Garcia which uh, works with Monica Bioconstrucción and Ocambuva all participated in the online content for the, these units. Units 2 are being done in combination between Lores Carboni of the, the Eco Building School uh, Los Guindales in Malaga, Monica of uh, Monica Eco Building and Ocambuva. In this case, the practical unit was given by both Monica and, and Lores. In the fall, Okombuva will be doing their unit too. The finishes unit, which are the online content, was done in a collaboration between Loris, uh, myself, and Okambuva, was given uh, presentially by uh, Loris and by participants of Okambuva. Uh, and hopefully will be repeated also this fall in, in Valencia. In, in June, I offered the, the load-bearing unit in collaboration with Juanjo Garcia, who's a member of our network who lives and works in Chile, but was in Spain this year, and he's done some load-bearing building there, and we had quite a, a good time uh, building the, these uh, small walls, as, as well as talking and learning a lot about how load-bearing building works. Um, another exciting thing that's happened in our network this year is that in the beginning of the year in January, we got a lot of really good press in, in national media, not just uh, local and regional. That's been going on for a long time. I could give you links to a dozen articles written in the last year about strawberry building in, in small media, but this was a big deal because, uh, because El País is one of the biggest newspapers in the entire country and reaches millions millions and millions of people who uh, may have learned about straw bale building for the first time in a very positive light. And also soon after that, uh, we also uh, were dedicated with three and a half minutes, which might not sound like much, but it's quite a lot when we talk about nationwide television, was dedicated to straw bale building on a nationwide uh, television program, which was doing a, a series of uh, about recycling and and uh, ways to create main, uh, less um, less trash in in Spain, and so they talked about uh, the practicality of working with with such a natural and and reusable material as straw is. So. Um, Here's a little bit of a sample of that video. I'm not going to show you the whole thing, but uh, I'll just go kind of a fast forward so you can see a little bit about it. They talked about straw production. They showed uh, a building strike being built by Mirko Zecetto, which I'll show you some of his uh, buildings later on in the presentation. Not quite... Uh, quite nice buildings in, in Barcelona. You can see this one in the presentation later on. Um, and so it's showing Spain in a good light. Of course, they had to make a little bit of a, a reference to the three pigs, but the conclusion was, yeah, it's a good idea to build with straw. So <laughs> anyway, um, that was really exciting for us and also got a lot more tension done to strawberry building. 
And so to finalize the presentation, I just want to show you some of the buildings which has been built by a few of our members in the last couple of years. Some, some quite nice high quality or larger buildings that are starting to be built now in Spain. And uh, now that we're, we're getting more information and more, more quality education in terms of designing and building straw bale buildings. Um, I'm going to start with a self-built building in Burgos because it's also nice to see that a, a new kind of speciality is, is arising in Spain, and that's uh, self-built buildings, but with active guidance from the architects or the or or other buildings who support the self-builders in in their work. This is the case of this this building, which is done. Um, as a, a public building, which is going to be used for workshops and rural tourism. It's a 240 square meters of total space, 190 square meters of usable space built with a, a version of the, the cut technique. Um, it's taken about three years to finish, but is looking quite good. Um, and then we have uh, some of these buildings with from Mirko, who is the architect who showed up on that on that uh, television program I just showed you. He also designs and works with different techniques according to the client. This uh, building was was built in, with eco cocon prefabricated panels in in Barcelona. Uh, you can see the uh, typical uh, eco cocon techniques with the house wrap and quite fine finishes. Uh, this is an interesting mm, building because it's quite large, 170 square meters, and mostly uh, self-built, um, also with the cut technique. Uh, you can see examples uh, of the, the building here and the lovely views that these these clients have. Uh, and they also here you can see a building built with uh, prefabricated panels purchased and um, designed by Okambuva. They're the alpha wall panels which are also becoming quite popular in Spain. In Spain we have uh, at least three or four producers and of, of different uh, prefabricated panels and also more and more architects are starting to design prefabricated panels to be built to build their buildings with not purchasing them as a product but designing them as panels which can be built uh, indoors and then set up in the building site directly by the architect um, this building as you can see built with the these panels is is the one that we saw on that uh, on the television program and now we're going to talk about some buildings done by our Naj Bujons of Caseta de Paya. He's uh, been a long-standing member of the, the building, of, the, of our network, Mirko as well. In the past, he's been part of our board of directors, although presently he's not. And our no, uh, this year, has replaced our current secretary, Monica Sabada, as, as our new secretary is our Nau Bujons. So we go trading around some of these, uh, these roles in our network. And here you can see... Uh, a small house, well not so small, 110 square meters isn't that small, but uh, this build, building is made with the cut technique and in a combination of uh, a collaboration between professional buildings and the participation of the of the of the owners in the building as well. It's not neither totally self-built nor totally professionally built. Um, that's uh, something which is happening a lot more in Spain, as I mentioned. Uh, combinations of, of buildings that are a combination of of the self builders uh, working with professional builders for training or or building practice, so that they can participate fully in the build without having to worry about all of the nitty gritty details. It's a really uh, interesting option, which is kind of a medium price between having the house built for you and building it yourself. Uh, this other building is a different style completely. This was done with a double post prefab system of, um, of prefabricated panels built uh, by, by the builders um, 
and the and uh, the participation of the owners in the building instead of purchasing the prefab uh, prefabricated panels and was was finished with a, a ventilated wooden facade with the shosugiban uh, um, effect in the exterior of the house you can see uh, a little bit of the inside of the the house and photos of the prefab panels being built I'm not actually sure what that building in the upper right hand uh, corner is. I believe it's another building built by our now is um but not the same building we're talking about. <laughs> ah, this may be this building uh, here. This was building was also built with the cut technique, totally self-built, 50 square meters. And one thing that's nice about uh, the work that our now does is he tries to all organize uh, small weekend or one day workshops for uh, people in interested in straw bale building so they can come participate on a live building site for for a day and get a feel for what working with straw is is like and so that's quite nice uh, this is another building also built with a double post system which was also uh, used as uh, workshops and and for expanding uh, and inviting uh, the public the general public and also architectural students and and architects uh, and builders to visit the building site and see what straw bale building is all about and so I really uh, like to promote uh, Arnaud's work because it's always a combination of good building practice and also uh, really sharing and, and talking about um, about how to build well with straw so okay, you here you can see a few more a few more images of of the building uh, meta 2020 architects which are carmen caballero and javier sanz have also done uh, designed and executed quite a few uh, buildings a lot of them using prefabricated panels like this one with alpha wall panels by alcombuva which was finished with a combination of a ventilated facade uh, and um, and lime finish over a, a over natural cork, which is a, which is fastened to the the exterior surface of these uh, these panels. So, and also straw insulated roof. In this building, also in Burgos, which is where these people are centered, it was a post and beam structure using a, the cut system or technique as, as infill around the, the post and beam structure, 105 meet square meter home. Um, quite beautiful spaces inside and nice finishes. And this uh, other building uh, is more recent. It actually hasn't been finished yet, but it's building being built by self-made prefabricated panels. Uh, the panels are being made by the ar the architects themselves and uh, and used in this building, which uh, is being finished with also a ventilated facade uh, finished with the Japanese technique. You can see these panels being built in their workshop. And uh, we also have this other example, again, a prefabric panels this is another producer of prefabricated panels which is interesting because as you can see this is uh, becoming a solution in Spain the use of prefabricated panels when people want professional uh, professional finishes uh, without having to be directly involved in in the building process it's the 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 solution that is most used and we actually have quite a few um, prefabricated panels um, companies working with our network. This, these panels are made with rice straw. Uh, Carolina Honrada is our architect. She's worked closely with Tiziana Monterisi of Rice House in Italy and have uh, has been producing these panels in Spain, the Europa rice straw panels. We also have the alpha wall panels by El Gambuva. We have Eco Cocon panels being distributed here and we also have a company called called Echo Paja in the Basque country, which also uh, produces certified straw bale uh, panels. So 
know, and then, as I said, it's becoming more and more common for the architects themselves to design prefabric little panels to be built uh, for their particular builds. Uh, so you can see more examples. This is a, a roof piece you can hear as the roof was also made with a uh, laminated wood and prefab uh, units. This is another build by the, the same builders, Monica Sabal and Ruben Garcia. And it's a post and beam uh, building with a straw bale infill. Also mostly self-built, but with training and support by the professional builders. And lastly, this is uh, the final uh, house I'm going to share in this presentation. This is a very exciting build. It's going to be the biggest straw bale building in Spain when it's finished. It's being built right now. These pictures you're seeing are uh, just a couple of weeks old. Um, because the house is, this building has just started being built this, the, uh, in June, I believe it was started this building. It's, a, it's going to have about 1,800 square meters of usable space, over 2,000 square meters built, and it's being used as a day center for retired people in, in this town, Meliana, Valencia, with um, a budget of over 2 million euros and being paid for it and promoted by the local town hall, which is quite exciting. This has been designed by Virai Architects, uh, of which uh, one of their members is a member of our board of directors here in Spain, and by Papa Studi, uh, which our other people have been collaborating in, in this building. So this is also a building that's been being made, the walls with uh, prefabricated panels, which are being designed and built for this particular build um, so that's pretty exciting for us and uh, we hope to show you pictures of the finished product and maybe some uh, some opinions from the press or 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 the people who are using it by uh, next year uh, when we expect the building to be to be finished so Thank you for your attention. If you want more information about the Spanish Strawbill Building Network, if you're here on the live program, you can just stay online and ask me some questions in live. And if you're seeing us on the YouTube channel instead of the, the live um, uh, program, then, of course, you can always write us an email, uh, visit our web page or our Facebook page, and get in touch with us if you want more information. So thank Thank you for your attention, and um, and I'll be with you in a few minutes to answer some questions. Until soon.